So this video is going to illustrate the use of the multi-way valve directly with the multi-drop combi without using the rapid stack. So in this situation, you need again a valve, a multi-drop combi, you need the Plera RS software, and you need the instrument driver for the multi-drop combi. So as you can see, we have Polera RS open on the screen, but we have no instruments. So just as when we were setting up with the rapid stack, we need to configure our system, we need to do the same thing. We need to add the multi-drop combi driver to our system. So to do this, we go to tools, options, and then under the options pop-up, we go to the equipment tab. So on the equipment tab, we need to set up our instruments, including the rapid stack, which might seem odd at first, but bear with me. We'll go to the settings and then you can see under the settings, the mode is normal. So the system's going to look for the rapid stack. So we want to switch this from normal to simulation. Now it's just going to think that there's a rapid stack. And since we're on simulation, all the other settings aren't required, so we just hit OK. Next, we have to add an instrument, which is going to be our multi-drop combi. So I select the multi-drop combi, and here we'll have a settings dialog pop up, and we do have to configure everything for the multi-drop combi. So our mode has to be normal. We'll just give the instrument a name. I'm just going to call it combi1. We have to give the COM port where the multi-drop combi is connected to. So I am on COM port number 24. Next, the valve itself has a serial port as well, and it is on COM port 25 on my computer. Now it's asking you here, is the valve installed? So right now we have none. I'm going to say I have a four reagent valve selected. And now ports. I have to configure my reagents to the various ports. So I click on this little box with three dots. Now on our port collection editor pop-up, this is where we're going to add and configure our various uh, valves and reagents. So because I have a four port valve, I'm going to need to add four ports to my system. And I just do this by clicking the add four times. So one, two, three, four. We need to give each of the ports a unique number and we should give it a unique name. So valve one, I'm just going to have reagent one, okay. And then I'm going to switch this to valve two. And this will be reagent two. I'll do valve three. This can be water. And then I'll do valve four. And I'll just say reagent three. And I just hit OK. Hit OK for the configure combi one and hit OK for the options. So now all we have to do is select create a new assay under the tasks panel. So this is the process editor for Polera RS and I need to drag and drop functionality from the combi under the operations panel into the process editor in the center. So to do this, I'm just going to uh, prime. I'm going to run protocol. I'm going to prime twice more. And then I'm going to run a protocol. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a plate and run two different uh, processes in a plate. So basically this is a prime. I'm going to prime with reagent 1, 1,000 microliters. And then I'm going to run protocol on reagent one. And then the protocol name, I'm going to pull the protocol from the combi. And so for the first run, it'll be even columns, 96 wells. And next, I'm going to 
run some water through it to clean the line out and then I'm going to switch over to reagent 2 and I'm going to prime that at a thousand microliters and then I'm going to run a protocol with reagent 2 in the same plate but in odd columns. Now all we need to do is select run this assay. On the start assay pop-up you just hit start now and so what you'll see is it looks like it's moving a plate from the rapid stack to the combi but as you'll see in the previous screens where I show you what the action is live you'll see that I've physically put a plate onto the nest and there is no rapid stack set up but it just looks like it and because in the setup I put two plates it's going to run the process two times so you know it's priming the combi again to do the second reagent run and it's running a protocol and so now it thinks it's sending the plate back to the rapid stack but it's just the same plate sitting there it won't start the next plate uh, until it thinks it's received it, so in sort of robot time. Again, you'll see this uh, when we go to the live shot. So it's priming, it's running protocol, priming, priming again, and running Reagent 2. Now again, let's see what this looks like on the actual system. So here we are in a live view with the combi and the valve hooked up and you can just see the laptop over to the left. I just have a clear plate sitting on the combi nest and I've selected run this assay. So it's priming Reagent 1. It's going to run the first reagent. There we see it's priming now with water. Now it's priming with reagent 2 and it'll dispense reagent 2 into the odd columns. So again because I pressed two plates it's going to do this one more time but it's going to sort of wait in robot time it thinks the rapid stack is taking the plate and then loading another plate. And so there we go, it's running the process once again, priming with reagent one, dispensing, priming with water, priming with reagent two, and now dispensing reagent two. And it's done, that's our entire process.